get up around 3, 3.10, 10 minutes out the door, and uh, yeah, just get out my way. I've always, I've always liked to get to work early. I don't know why. I don't, I don't like being late. I freak out when I'm late. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take these two still in the back door. Seven, uh, four, two, nine, uh, seven, nine, one. Seven, nine, one? I could bring that if you need a person. No, it's okay, because maybe by that time he'll move and I'll just move the truck, put it in the, the side door. I can't wait. <laughs> when I say private, I refer to private uh, people at their homes these days. But before it was a uh, pretty much anywhere we service other businesses, like deliver to some people order wine to their uh, law offices or golf courses, obviously in the spring. Um, like I have a network of guys where I ship. To Blue Mountain, so some some ski resorts, which they, they happen to be popular in the su spring, summer, and fall and winter, obviously. But uh, I, as you see, when lockdowns are being lifted, you you automatically see the volume changing, and so hopefully it's a good sign when like Peterborough's kicking right now in Kingston, they're all green. So I go to the, uh, there's a warehouse that we'll see a little later today, and that's like a, a they distribute across Ontario. Again, it's a small agency, and uh, but they are they are servicing the whole province. Yeah, so now, basically, what we do is just wait for the other guys to come. He's gonna have an idea. Once once the plan is in set, we just offload. Today's shouldn't take that long. Most of the stuff in my truck is going in my. Actually, my cousin works with me. Good. Uh, both cousins actually, but uh, because of COVID, he, he's also a contractor. So the good thing is. When we're slow, he helps his brother, or his brother comes helps me, and we try to give each other work. Of course, I have a new product here. Got that guy. An average day for me, I would like I would have double this volume on a regular. Christmas time was just insane. So, uh, like, I, I have two trucks on the road right now. Both of them were pretty, like today, especially, we're gonna, I'm also trying to keep my colleague, like, keep him making money as well. So it's trying to share, share the wealth kind of thing right now. So you'll, you'll notice that both our trucks would be fairly empty, but before it was full, both trucks full every day. Uh, and before that, they would expect us to go into the basement, to bring it here, bring it there, and I'm like, for liability reasons, that's not really my job. <laughs> right. And uh, you know, I just but you, you know, you do you can what you can, you know, to, to keep the customer happy, obviously. But you know, it just uh, there's a lot of stuff that if I broke something, they would be upset. And it's like, am I even supposed to be doing this? Right. But it's it's a little bit better in certain ways, and and I think especially in the beginning. You know, everybody feeling the stresses of this thing. I think people became a bit more courteous with each other. You know, like their business had to adapt. My business has to adapt. Like we all have to adapt. And, you know, and we all need each other. So I think uh, a lot of their common courtesy came back with, with the people I deal with, for sure.